This video was made possible by the EA Game Changers program. Hey guys, it's Chrissy and welcome back to the channel and welcome to the first speed build that I'm doing with the new Stranger Vol game pack. So first off, a huge thank you to EA for providing me with an early access code for this game pack so that I could, you know, do a few early access videos for you guys to show off the pack and let you know my thoughts and stuff about it. But yeah, so first off, this little trailer that I built is called Almost a Starter since I started building this kind of half-heartedly going for, you know, the idea of turning it into a starter home. But then I decided that I wanted to use it for my playthrough of the pack of like the storyline of the pack and I didn't want to have my sim live in a starter. So this is called almost a starter since it is only 25,000 or so simoleons. So it's not that much more expensive than you know your regular 20,000 simoleon starter. So I, I guess that's okay. It's still very small. It's what I would consider to be a starter. It's very small. It doesn't have any space for your sim to, you know, grow a family or anything like that. It's basically fit only for either a single sim or a couple. And then the couple has to be, you know, a romantic couple or something that so that they can share the bed. You can't have two roommates or something living here. So yeah, that's basically my kind of like thought process behind this build. I wanted to play around with, you know, the new, some of the new items and all of that. Unfortunately, I couldn't really use all that many items from the new pack in this build. I don't think I used a lot of the new items, if I'm honest. I used obviously the new fences and I used some of like the lights, you know, the lava lamps that come with it, which is really cool. I used those on the interior, I used obviously a laptop, but yeah, other than that, I can't really think of anything new that I used, since unfortunately this pack doesn't come with a lot of normal, I guess, normal build buy items, so things like beds and couches and things like that, they don't come with any of those kind of normal things, so yeah, for me to use some of the items I could use a lot of the items, don't get me wrong, a lot of the build items I will probably use in builds, like normal family builds, but then those builds will probably be a lot bigger than this build is. The items that came with this pack just didn't really fit what I had in mind for this build, if that makes any sense. But yeah, I did use a few of the decorative objects, there's this really cool bathtub with plants in it that I do put right here on the outside behind the truck, behind this little sized up truck that I put there. So yeah, that's really cool and I, I don't know, I really like this pack overall, I really like it. I, you know, I'm definitely going to use it a lot. I absolutely adore the world that came with it. The Strangerville world is absolutely stunning. And, you know, it's fast on the way of becoming my one of my favorite worlds in the game, so yeah, it's gorgeous. I love it. It's so full of detail and life and, you know, it's just it's just stunning. But the bold buy items did kind of let me down a little bit. Not not it's not lacking bold buy items by any means. There's a lot in this pack, but just for me that I don't normally do a lot of like themed builds. So a lot of the items that came with this pack are very much themed along the storyline and you know the idea of this pack. And those aren't really builds that I would normally do. If you guys are new to the channel you probably don't know this but I normally prefer to do like home builds. So even if that's family homes, starters, apartments, I normally do home builds. For houses and things I don't normally do like community lots and I don't also don't normally do like themed builds so you will very rarely see me do like a alien build for example or you know something like that and for me for my personal building style the items in this pack probably won't be all that useful there are quite a few like decorative objects like paintings and lights and things that I will use 
in normal builds and all of that but a lot of like the bigger objects i probably won't use a lot i mean i will use those laptops in probably every single build from now on <laughs> that you guys can just expect expect that those laptops will probably be in every single build from now on because i have been wanting laptops for so long yeah that's just something else but yeah so it's not that I'm disappointed with the pack as a whole, I'm just a little bit disappointed with the build buy mode items. Which, as someone that does mainly builds on my channel, that's kind of sad. But, I mean, the creator sim items are stunning, I love them all. I can definitely see myself getting a lot of use out of the, out of the creator sim items. And in creator sim, you don't really have that problem with it being too themed or anything. It, a lot of the create most of the creator sim items I should say can work for any sim so that's really great it's just the bold mode items that let me down a little bit so yeah that's basically a quick summary of what I think about this pack I have no idea why I thought to mention it in this video of all things but yeah so going back to the bold a quick for a quick second since I haven't really talked about it at all I decided to go for this very like colorful kind of run down still look for the build so it's very it does look a little bit worn and a lot of the furniture and things you can see it's not like top of the top of the line furniture a lot of them are quite looks quite old and all of that so that was kind of the like feel I was going for with this trailer since I thought it would be, I built it actually for Ali, and Ali is going to be, like I said, my sim that I play through this whole storyline with, and I mentioned this in the creator sim video that went up about two hours ago, but you guys should let me know if you want to see a, like, little playthrough mini-series of me playing through the, like, storyline of this pack. It probably won't be any longer than, like, maybe five episodes or something. And I will like record them all in one sitting so they will all be pre-recorded but you know then I can schedule them out to go out over like a week or so so that you guys can have consistent like you know can see the whole storyline play out and all of that and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this little build like I said let me know what you think about the idea of doing a little short like let's play mini kind of playthrough series with you know Ali and the storyline since if you guys are new to the channel you probably don't know this but I have quite a few I should say like failed let's plays on the channel and the reason why I say failed is because I tend to start a let's play and be really into it for the first few episodes and then I get bored and that's something that has been happening Ever since I have start, I started playing The Sims 14 years ago, I never really stick with the same family or the same storyline for all that long. I tend to get bored really, really easily, which is why I prefer to play challenges in my own personal gameplay. But I thought that with this pack coming with like a little story and a mystery that you can figure out and all of that thing, those things that kind of give you a, a, a direction to go in when you play. I thought this would be the perfect series, you know, the perfect pack to, the perp perfect pack, wow, I really can't speak. The perfect pack to start a little mini let's play with, to bring a little bit of gameplay to the channel, since that is something I really want to do, and I am brainstorming a few, maybe like, challenges that I could do that won't take me three years to complete, like the 100 baby challenge. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Keep your eyes out for more early access videos and remember this pack does come out tomorrow on the 26th of February. So keep your eyes out for that if you want to purchase this pack for yourself. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video and I hope you're all having an amazing day and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye guys.